Castle. Another round, and our game truly begins. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hand of Fate. The Bandit Queen was taken by slavers as a child and raised in the desert. Over the years, she has bribed and murdered her way to her current position as second in command of the Desert Thieves, proving herself capable of ruthless cunning. Ooh, this curse is now. Money bags. In combat, the player's movement speed is reduced by how much gold they possess. Okay. A bold woman, this one. She did not collapse when the Empire did. No, uh, she took up I arms, really organized her people. Um, and vowed that in a country pieces. where death had gathered, damage, she would be the one dealing it. Two, three. Okay. So we can at least replace that with that. How much axe? 25. Oops. Ah! No! Thanks. At least does 27. We do 25. Okay. We'll take that for sure. Get rid of that. And there we go. Okay. See here. Well, how about we take those two? Um. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's get rid of one of these, and we'll add that artifact in. Yeah. All right. Well, we can take that out got a bunch of new ones to do. So, let's see what we got here. Um, take those two out. Okay, I can't get rid of some of these. Um, let's see, you need two more. Uh, let's do a Desert Storm and Song of the Minotaur. Start the game. Now we play for the cup. The first of my symbols. I've added some cards to spice up the game. In addition to the pain cards. and game decks. There are now blessings and curses. Choose your steps carefully. All right. Twisted Canyon. Yep, let's go down. That one. <clears throat> It's better than a rusty axe. River. How will you cross this time? Hopefully we'll get a huge success. The last time I played through this game, I, for the life a of choice. me, Select your could not get this little token. Your light armor makes the crossing easy, and you even stop to die for some shiny stones on the riverbed that may fetch a few cones. One gold gain card. Twenty gold. Jeez been good. Once on the other side of the river, you realize that one of the stones is in fact a ring. Okay. Hold on. Hopeful priest. Priests, gods, and eternal damnations. I have no track with any of it. Give. Yeah, let's give him half. Ooh. Come on. Huge success. Ooh. He speaks in the language of the old religion for several minutes and then gently touches your forehead. It is done! Draw two blessing cards. Sweet treasure picker. Blessings when the player will chooses from multiple equipment or game cards, the choices removed. available are increased by one. Unless you die, of course. Then you're back where you began, as always. Such a downer, jeez. The player inflicts triple damage against foes who are stunned. Okay, cool. 
Sweet. I'll take that token. I am gonna need some food though soon. One more step down, and we may see the end of this, or another set of stairs. <laughs> or another step. Every step you take consumes food, but you will also heal as you proceed. Alright, whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, Mr. Lionel shows up again. Um You know, I'll ask him what he needs, because I don't have anything that he'd want. I don't have anything really, so. Well, sure. Okay. Call for the priest. Ooh. Priests have some skill in tending wounds, but they excel at removing curses for price, of course. Maybe they can, uh. uh I doubt it's gonna be enough. Gold that I have. 30 gold? Probably not enough to remove curse. Ugh. Remove curses. 300. Yep. I'm not happening. Let's see here. Steer key knowledge. I don't have enough money for any of this, but. Okay, we'll buy food then. Um, oops. Back, actually. Buy food. Oh, we don't have enough for five. Oh, we'll do three then, I guess. Oh, do I have to sell? Nope. But nothing to sell. The landlocked lubber. Win this and claim my token. The tour to the landlocked lubber opens with a creak, breaking the silence like a thunderclap in a tomb. The proprietor greets you. Welcome, traveler. Before I can treat you with our hospitality, I must ask you a very important question. Have you seen, heard, or God forbid, smelled a kraken? No, I've never seen a kraken. Consider yourself lucky. There is no foul beast than a kraken. I am Carlo. Welcome to the landlocked lover. After giving you some time to enjoy the warmth and some stale bread, Carlo approaches you. I've heard rumors of boats going missing from the small village port of Norwich. No survivors. No witnesses. Norwich port is run by bandits, thieves, and smugglers. There's no way to know what's really happening there. Perhaps you could have a look around and find out more? I would go, of course. But I have this place to look after. Carlo gestures to the empty, damp ridden flea hole that he calls home. Take the token. It is yours. Okay. The maiden! You might think the world of the cards is grim. Yet, even in the darkness, there is light to be found. Yeah, she's a keeper in there for a reason. Um. Actually, let's ask for supplies. This bread will sustain you for many days. It's like the bread from like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> One small nibble. And you're full. Unless you're a hobbit. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. You found a friendly trader willing to give you a ride on his wagon. It's hit red. You are close on her trail and more confident than I had imagined. Perhaps you will play beyond this mark, and we will see Rockfall. your true metal. A terrifying walk to get to the queen. Well, so journey many near potential the coast. places for an assailant to get the upper hand. You hear a rumble overhead. Falling rocks force you to take cover. Ooh, this one's not in my favor at all. That one. Oh, huge failure. Oof. You slip and stumble in the path of Rockfall. The dealer draws you two pain cards. Oh dear. Oof. That's not too. Ooh, that's. That sucks. What? Ouch. Why do you keep drawing them? Oh, cause it's uh, cause it's a huge lot, a huge failure. So it's twice as many. I forgot about that. The song of the White Minotaur. The Mug and Barrel Inn is renowned for attracting the most talented bards from all around. 
You arrive there, weary from your adventures, but tonight's entertainment convinces you to settle by the hearth for a while. Just a little banged up, you know, from that rock slide. Hours pass and the crowd starts to thin. The bard begins to move around the room, playing requests for small groups. He serenades a pair of young lovers for a meager sum, and is then generously tipped for leading a group of blacksmiths in a raucous chorus of foul language aimed at the folks from the next town over. He approaches you. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A most distinguished adventurer? No tawdry tale of insipid chivalry or brash tribalism will do. You, sir, merit a stern ballad of bloodshed, heroism, and death. The bard sings for you the fable of the White Minotaur, a legendary beast who is master of both might and magic. Its power is such that it has felled every adventurer, bounty hunter, Take or treasure seeker it has ever like. crossed. I've waited long enough. At the close of his song, the bard leans in close to you and whispers, The White Minotaur is no myth. I met a man two days of night, er, oh, I met a man two nights ago who hunts the beast as if he were its long shadow. I'd wager that any adventurer would be interested in the tales he told me over supper. All yours for a small donation. Well, I have no gold, so hopefully food will do. I like the look of you. Does five gold sound fair? I mean, it sounds really fair, but I have no money. <laughs> My apologies. I took you for someone with a sense of adventure. Dang it. Bandits attack. Bandits, eh? Make an enemy of one, and you've made an Ugh. enemy of all. Man, it is just one not my night. One can't help but admire their single-mindedness. Land in a rock slide. Fail to get the information on the Minotaur. And then these guys show up. Well, at least I have food, so I'm not gonna starve to death. A little gold. To Among give the you bodies, a you find a scrap of parchment with rough description for you, plus an offer of a reward from the King of Dust. Now I have money. Of course. Oh, the Queen of Dust. Noble causes turn to rotten enterprise. Okay. You may win this battle and send the Queen to her rightful end, yet. What have you gained in the process? This desert queen is more lethal in battle and harder to kill than a regular bandit. Her blades are sharp and she is frequently protected by a powerful crossbow. Okay. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. That's... Oh, only two. Okay. Ah! Oh, great. Little turret thing. Ah! Let me destroy this thing first, because these things hate fucking ranged attacks. Ah! No! Going through her was not a good idea. Inevitable, I suppose. So often those who beat plowshare to sword die by the grim instruments of their industry. Still, she fought well and bravely, which is all I expect from my pawns and players. 
Strong counterattacks. Your counterattacks do more damage. Your stunning attacks now render enemies dazed for longer. Your starting equipment has been upgraded. Heck yeah. Bandit strength increases. Skeleton strength increases. And bandit throwing knives. Oh, bandits now have throwing knives. Great. Just what I said I loved. Ranged attacks. You have earned the first of the symbols of my power. Ah, and the first there's a spider over there. There is no turning back now. Previously, I was merciful, but now I cannot be. <laughs> it is begun. I crafted each of these cards over the course of years. You have taken well, them from me in mere so moments. Ring of survival. Lots of rings. Smuggler Wharf. Jack Plague. Asleep in the forest. Feel the poppies. Battle at Brooktop. Fleet Cups. Armor of Cold. Huge Hammer. Come. Play again. Well, I think I'm going to call it there for now. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. I'm not sure when that'll be, but uh, thanks for tuning in.